What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, today's video, I'm not really mad. I'm not really, you know, happy. I'm not really anything of that sort. I'm just, I'm, I'm just pretty down. I'm, I'm pretty sad, honestly, <laughs> about just how the overall community is handling stuff when it comes to Call of Duty. It's not really due to Activision right now. It's just due to strictly us, the community, Call of Duty fans. The direction that we're pushing is just so dark right now. And again, like I said, uh, what I have to discuss with you in today's video is I, I think it's all truth. Again, you guys can correct me down in the comment section if you really feel like it, because obviously everybody's entitled to their own opinions. But I, I really do think this is 110% proof, and I, I don't think the outcome is going to go any other way. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, before we go ahead and hop into the topic of today's video, if you do enjoy what you hear today and you want to hear more stuff about Call of Duty Battlefield X Defined, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification button. We are indeed on the grind of 50k subscribers, and we are inching closer and closer every day that goes by. So of course, like I said, if you enjoy it, subscribe, hit that bell. And last but not least, we will be live today over on Kick. So if you guys want to check that out as well, around 12 p.m. Eastern Time will be live. You guys can find the link to that down in the description of this video. And last but not least, Friday will be live on Twitch. I'll remind you guys in the video on Friday as well that we're going to be live. But I just want to let you guys know now, some brand new information came out about Battlefield 2042. I'm holding off on a video for now because the gameplay trailer, of course, is going to be coming out on Friday, I believe. So we're going to stream it. We're going to watch it. We're going to chat about it. So if you're a Battlefield fan, if you're curious about this stuff, like I said, Friday will be on Twitch as well. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been watching my channel for a while now, or honestly, any other Call of Duty channel, you know what's been happening when it comes to the overall community. Activision has been basically just completely striking down everything like X-Labs, SN2, and honestly, it's hit me pretty decently because you guys know me, I only really play the OG Call of Duty games. When new content comes out on the new CODs, I do play it, but once I'm done grinding out that new content, I head straight back to games like Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, you know, Black Ops 1, Call of Duty 4, or even World at War like you're watching right here. And lucky enough, Plutonium is still live and in action. So if you guys are on PC and you're looking for better servers with no cheaters, make sure you download Plutonium. It's fantastic. And just a little, you know, tiny update. This has nothing to do with the video topic of today, but I do want to mention it. Plutonium recently just put out a tweet stating that you can't pirate the game anymore. So it's going to be a system in place. And it's not just them removing the pirating sites from their website. No, it's like literally if you have a pirated version of the game, you're going to get kicked offline from the Plutonium browser. You have to have a purchased copy. Now, I know this is going to cause some controversy, but at the end of the day, I think this is their best bet. And I think it's the best way of doing things. It's going to make them safe. And hopefully we can hold on to Plutonium for as long as we can. But, like I said, you know, if you've been following us, you know about all this information. But I just, I, I just know deep down in my core that none of this stuff actually matters to anybody in the community. I, I promise you, by the time that Modern Warfare 3 starts getting trailers, it's over. Right now, it might seem like we have a one-up on the whole situation. It might seem like our voices are being heard. It might seem like, you know, the community is actually joining forces and we're doing something correct here. But I promise you, this is how the cycle goes every single year. You know, or before any of the hype, before any of the official information, when it's leaks, rumors, all of that stuff going on, you know, this is where we feel the most dominant. But once that first trailer drops, once, you know, Sledgehammer starts coming out and, you know, mentioning stuff, talking about stuff, trust me, they're going to advertise and market this game perfectly. And they know what they've been doing these past years. They know how bad the community hates 6v6. I guarantee they're going to have some marketing scheme, which is going to be full of lies, obviously. But they're going to word it so perfectly that, you know, technically you can't chalk it up as lies. I'm telling you, Activision is so good at this. They really are. They're, they're naturals because they hire top dogs. They have a lot of money to hire people who could do this. But they always have hidden little lies. Like, it's straight up lies. But the way they word it... You, you can't you can't put it on them. You can't say, oh, well, you said this, 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 and that, uh, you know, word by word. We have written proof. No, you know, if you go back and look at some of the stuff they say, it's always little ways they could tweak it to say, well, you know, we said this, not that, or we did this, not that, to help save them. So with that being said, I know how the marketing is going to be. I know how the advertisements are going to be. I know what Sledgehammer is going to be doing. I know what Activision is going to be doing. And sadly, with that being said, I know what the community is going to be doing. You know, all of this stuff might be happening now. We might all be outraged now, but I guarantee the second that first trailer drops, everybody's going to be hyping it up. Everybody's going to be going crazy with the new game. Everybody's going to be saying, oh, brand new COD title, finally we get something new. This is going to be the best Call of Duty game of all time. And we're going to go down the same exact path. Everybody's just going to you know, shove everything under the rug. Activision, they have an overly sexual workplace? No, that never happened. Oh. Activision, they shut down all the best, you know, fan-made servers so you don't have to deal with cheaters or hackers and OG CODs? Oh, no, that never happened. It's Modern Warfare 3. 
bright, shiny item in front of me. Oh, that that's what it is. You know, forget about all that. That stuff never happened. I want bright, shiny item. That is 1,010% how this overall situation is going to go. I, it, it hurts because I just wish the community could make a stand. I, I just wish that we could stop accepting mediocre bullcrap and we could just get a good game for once. But the only way to get a good game is to put your foot down. If you don't put your foot down, if you don't you know, refuse to give them money, you're going to repeat the same exact practices. And you want to know what's really effective? Remembering the past. You know, it's like we literally learn in school our whole lives to learn about history, remember history, because if you forget, it will repeat itself, right? Like we're taught that every single day. But when it comes to games, products, you know, things that we can get for our entertainment value, when it comes to stuff like that, th- that mindset completely goes out the window. Like if we simply remembered and kept Activision in check, Every single year, we would be in a good spot right now, probably. But we don't. Every top dog name, people might mention stuff from time to time. They might discuss stuff while the topic is, you know, quote unquote, hot. Get views, get content, get money, get a check, so on and so forth. I understand the game, you know, it's their business. I don't, I don't blame anybody for getting a check. But then nobody remembers. Then nobody even knows these things ever happened. I guarantee five years down the road, this right here will be irrelevant. And sure, maybe, you know, another X-Labs will come out or something like that, or maybe another version of SM2. I I don't know. Who knows what the future holds for us? But if things go the way they're going, and they stay in this direction, nobody will remember. I promise, I promise you, nobody will remember. Of course, it will be on my mind all the time. Like I said, I put a lot of hours into these, you know, these clients because I like OG Call of Duty games. But a lot of people out there who are mentioning it for, you know, a few seconds... It's going to be irrelevant, and everything, the process, will repeat. Like I said, just like how history will repeat, history will repeat in gaming as well. And that's where we have a huge problem here. You know, it's, it's a lot of fake hype when it comes to these problems, but then when the problems pass over, you know, you know, the views go down from the problems, you know, people care less about the problems, then it's back to, you know, oh, you know, let me get a check from Activision. I mean, look at Nick Merckx, for example. Again, you know, no hate to the dude because he's very successful. You know, live your life, man. But at the end of the day, that is, he's a prime example of how easy it is to manipulate the whole community. People in general, how easy it is to take over the minds of your typical average person in this world. You know, that's why marketing is so, so, you know, expensive. That's why people pay a lot of money to, one, get good advertisements together, and two, get good Add spaces to put them on, to get the most eyes, the most people, because they know, you know, maybe not everybody's going to fall for that, and especially a lot of you guys in here. A lot of you guys are very smart. A lot of my viewers, you know, people who are commenting, you know, interacting with the videos and stuff like that. You know, you guys think for yourselves. You guys are fine, but, you know, I'm talking about, you know, it's a lot of people in this world. We might, we have 40 something thousand subscribers, okay? I mean, we're, we're talking about millions of billions out here, okay? A lot of these people get finessed very easily. All it takes is, Oh, I got a skin, and I guarantee millions will flood and purchase that skin. Or, oh, this game looks pretty cool. Millions of people, just off of the simple little words, will go and purchase a game. And the reason I'm using Nick Merckx as an example, again, is because he doesn't like COD. He hates COD. He ditched COD, talked crap about COD. He hates it. He hates Warzone, and he moved over to Apex Legends. Yet, all it took was a simple little check. That's all it took. You know, I'll pay you to get a skin in the store, and I'll pay you to watch the CDL, which they did. They paid him a check to go and watch a competitive Call of Duty match so people will actually be interested, and they paid him to put a skin in the store. I know a lot of people always think that, you know, that that's like the, the content creator working for Activision, so they're not getting paid to put a skin in the store. No, that, that's not how it works. You know, when Activision does stuff like this, they're paying for your personality. They're paying for, you know, your influence over on the market, you know, just like the same thing with actors or actresses, you know. <laughs> you know, the pay cuts are drastically different between these actors and actresses in the movies because they pay for, you know, who they are, how many people they'll bring in, how many people they can get into the theater. You know, a person who's just getting their name started, even though they're if they're popular, if they're just getting their name started compared to a vet who has a very hardcore fan base, that vet's going to get paid a good check compared to the person who's just coming in. And the same thing goes when it comes to this stuff. You know, they paid Nick Merckx to put his skin in the store. 
So his fans will see that Nick Merckx has a skin in the store, and they have to get it. They have to get it. That's what people do when, you know, they enjoy other people's content. Or they're a fan of someone. They have to get it. People do it for musicians. You know, people do it for comedians. People do it for any personality out there. People just do it. They, they will, if they like someone, if they're a fan of someone, if they do something or collab with something, you know, even if they hate it, their, their opinions will change in a blink of an eye in seconds just because their favorite influencer or favorite person came out and said otherwise. But that's the example I'm trying to make here. Like I said, all it takes is a check. Everybody forgets. Nick Merckx was a great person to put his foot down and say, Cod is bullcrap. Don't fall for this. We're leaving the game. You know, everybody else, they'll keep playing it. But Nick Merckx straight up got out, right? He got out. But all it takes is a check to get his opinion to change. All it takes is a check to get someone who says Call of Duty is the worst game ever to come and watch the CDL and advertise it for them and get a bunch of his viewers to enjoy it as well. All it takes is a check to put a skin in the store to get all of his viewers to say, oh, COD is no longer the worst game in the world. Look, it's a Nick Merck skin. Let's go pick that up. We always forget who they are and what they do. It's just, like I said, we history will repeat in Call of Duty. It will repeat. As much as I don't want it to, as much as I want to believe that we're making a good stand here, like I said, come back to this video when Modern Warfare 3 drops. Come back to it. I guarantee you're going to be seeing a lot of hype. A lot of hype, and a lot of people are going to be coughing up money. And I guarantee you, I'm I'm willing to put money on it. If anybody wants to get a little gamble on, I'm willing to put money on it. That the next game is going to be once again a top seller, if not the the top 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 seller of all the games out there. When it comes to you know when it finally drops, it's just how it is. But ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. If you hate it, leave a dislike. Also, for brand new and other content, subscribe to the bell notification button. Also, on chat me this Twitter, do so. I have Twitter and Discord, both linked down in the description. And also, want to catch me live streams, video games, over on Twitch. Link that's in the description as well. But guys, thanks so much for tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace out.